Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome to a new video. Yes, I'm in the bathroom because I have absolutely nowhere else to film. So, a welcome to my holiday gift guide 2021. So, I've been wanting to do this video for like the past month, but I've been like just live living like hell. <laughs> Not hell, but you know, trying to get back into track of stuff. And today I was like, okay, let me have a little bit of time before I start getting ready. So I am doing this. I am wearing the same sweater, same outfit as my newest TikTok. I will be I will be leaving my TikTok username down below so you guys feel to follow me there and also my Instagram. So before we get started in this video, my name is Jennifer. I'm 21 years old from Montreal, Quebec. If you're new, you're hi. If you're not, well, welcome back. So the only two, the only rule they have to do is be kind with each other. Subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell so you're gonna be notified whenever I post. It's been quite a long time since I post, but you know I've been preparing this video for like the last past week, so you know. So we are gonna get started. I have three categories. Well, I have, um, I have like one piece of clothing, skincare, and then makeup. So the first part we're going to do is skincare. So let's just roll in. I have everything inside in front of the sink, in front of me in the sink. I'm just going to pick up as it goes and tell you guys what I think about it. So if ever you guys have a skincare guru in your life, someone that loves skincare, stay tuned for this part. First thing I recommend is the Isle of Paradise Body Hydro Self Tan Serum. This thing is amazing. I use it during the summertime. I was meant to do like a full, like a first impression of it, but that never ended up happening because you ended up like not being good. So it's like just a serum that you just put on your body that's supposed to give you a nice, soft, glowy tan. I am going to use this in the upcoming weeks before Christmas because I'm wearing like this nice Christmas dress and I won't like have any sleeves on or anything. So I'm definitely going to put this. So all Isle of Paradise products are really good. It's like the first product I tried, but I've heard really great reviews. And uh, next thing I recommend for someone who loves like, just to keep their face, like we're into like face products now in a skincare, I recommend the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clear Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. This thing is amazing. You guys have heard me rave and rave about it. I'm just going to go put myself back on the floor. I've, ra I've been raving and raving about this for the past couple of months. I have like this much left. That's how much I love using it. I like to use it in the morning and I like to use it also at night sometimes. And also when I wear my makeup all day, I just like to take this off and take up my makeup off. So easy. So yeah. You guys can get these off Glam Glow and off Sephora. This is off Sephora and Isle of Paradise. Uh, Next product for the skin is my, again from Glam Glow, the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. I used this mask yesterday for the first time in a long time on a TikTok Live. These are, this mask smells so good. It smells like berries, so I am going to start using it once. It says I use it twice a week, so I'm going to probably put it again tonight. Take a sip of my coffee and, and so my Halloween mug. I can't get off of this mug. Skincare also, uh, I have a I have a moisturizer that I use. You guys are probably gonna like tell me it's wrong or brand I use, but I use this Cetaphil moisturizing lotion, which like a, it's for face and body. This thing is amazing. It makes my skin so soft and like for me, I didn't put any on yet because I'm about to I'm about to take a shower in about like an hour, so I'm not gonna like put some on before shower. So I'm gonna do that after my shower. So, but this, this thing is amazing. So, after cleansing and lotion, I don't put serum. I put eye cream. I put the Dr. Brand DNA Triple Peptide Eye Cream. I also have another eye cream that I don't know where it went. It's probably in my travel makeup bag. But this thing is amazing. I love using it morning, night. So, yeah. This is available, I think it's on Dr. Brand or Sephora or anywhere else. Next up for my... Okay guys, I got interrupted two minutes, so I'm back. So now for my lip care product that I use the most is the Aceology Overnight Lip Mask. This is in the color, there's not really a color. 
But it says here to use, apply a generous amount to lips. I already know that. So, yeah. It's made in Australia, which is amazing. I don't even know where they sell this, but if you guys can just look out like uh, Aceology Lip Mask, you guys can find it. And uh, now we're into one more skincare product, but I know people are going to bash me because of the brand. Okay, but it's a product from the brand St. Ives. You can say what you want about St. Ives. You can say like, oh, St. Ives like ruins your skin or whatever, but I don't really care that much. This is the St. Ives Acne Control Apricot Scrub. I love this so much. I use it like once a week. And I usually lose it. I usually use it in the mornings. I don't use it as a night. I don't even know when. So it's about it's a deep, it's deep exfoliator. So I love to use this so much. So if you guys love some, if you guys find someone who loves that or just starting into skincare, like make them try this. I also have another great idea. Yeah, I talked about masks like this, but another great idea is sheet mask. This is a brand new sheet mask. I got these at. Well, these are from Arden. They are three dollars and ninety cents. But you can get them in like uh, sometimes on sale because especially now, I think I'm doing this on the right time because Arden is doing their cyber like cyber week sale. The sale this video is gonna go up on well Friday, so I'll have to look and I'll be able to like tell you guys in the comments or tell you guys in the description like oh their sale is still going on. So go look at the Arden. This is the coconut facial essence mask. It's smoothing and per purifying and it's like a japanese mask which is so cute these masks are so cute so yeah one last brand that i know people are gonna like is bat and body works i have a couple of bat and body works products to talk about i'm so sorry things are falling away and i don't want that to happen so i have like a two cents that i'm gonna tell you guys about first scent is my absolute favorite scent me and my sister we love this this is a champagne toast 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream body cream yeah this is so good and it smells like oh so good if you guys can ever go to the bathroom marks works and see this pick this up i also have this which is another body lotion this is the country apple body lotion i think it gave me a reaction but my sister loves this and i also have another one which is like a brazilian one so yeah and also I have this it's a fragrance mist this is the rose champagne my sister loves this and I use it as well we both use our products you know it's her product but we use them together so yeah these products are amazing I recommend you guys 100% to go to Bath and Body Works I even like just even just to go inside and smell inside it's like the most amazing thing so that is part one of this video talking about my favorite skincare I'm gonna be back I'm gonna put all my makeup around me and I'll be right back to talk to you guys about it okay so I'm back so what I do with makeup is I got like the same thing as my skincare I got one product from each category and I'm gonna talk about it right now so my category for primer my top primer that I recommend for anybody who loves makeup or loves skincare is the LMS superfood girl priming moisturizer I love this one so much and I also like the Touch and Soul Pretty Icer Sherbert Primer, which I don't know where that went again. Like, it probably just appeared. Hug my daughter. So, but this primer is so amazing. I'm trying to get, the, like, the little bit of left that's out of it. Because then once it's finished, I'm going to use it for, I think, foundation. Because you guys see my foundation that I'm going to talk about. The packaging sucks. Which is... Not that. Which is my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I have the color N1, which is soft ivory. These things look amazing together, but I don't like the packaging because you have like to open it and then put it on your hand to use. And I don't really like that, so I want to like put it in a squeezy tube. And also it's in glasses and plastic, so this is a much better to travel with. So if you guys can find foundation that are in plastic packaging, it's a thousand times better. But this foundation is amazing. It's been going on for uh, for years and years, and I just started trying. I just started using it back in July. I love it. Uh, concealer now, I have my Lo my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Pencil. You guys know I love this so much. I have like a, I have like quite a lot left, but I don't know how to get the rest out. So if you guys can give me a suggestion in the comments, like I keep twisting and twisting and twisting, and like there's no product coming out, but I know there's still product there. So if you guys can let me know how to get the rest of the product out, it would be appreciated. So thank you straight up for that. Okay, uh, for powder, 
I have my, I don't have it with me right now because I ran out of powder like quite a long time ago and I haven't really repurchased one since. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 01 Light. I love this powder so much. It's a hundred times better than, than the pressed powder. I love the, the loose so much more. If you guys are wondering what's in my coffee, I have my Naboth Breakfast Blend, some ice, and some, I mix cream with chocolate syrup as a creamer and it's so good it's not even sweet at all so now for a uh, contour i'm going to talk about mostly i'm going to talk about another product before i hit the face category another part uh, another part um uh, yeah the other category of face this is the dragon beauty uh um liquid illuminator i got the like this color right here which is like the brightening color any any color correct things are so good okay Especially in the winter time, this makes your face so, so bright. But there's also, like, an orange and a green. So check out Dragon Beauty by my Nikita Dragon. And I've heard her, her story about her life, and it's crazy. So now for face powder. I'm talking about my a thousand, my favorite, favorite, favorite powder, my holy grail. This is the uh, Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Trio. Hydration Complexion Trio. I got the color Fair Light. So the color is Rise and Grind. Pale Wear and, ca and Cafe Con Leche. My favorite are these two right here. I hit pan on this one and I'm about to hit pan on this one. This is my favorite like setting powder, under eye powder, my favorite bronzer. And this one I like to use it as an eyeshadow because it's way too dark for my skin. But if you guys can buy anything from Alamar Cosmetics, please support them. They're a local Cuban, yo local Cuban brand, which is so amazing. So now we are on the same topic as face products, but face palettes. But this is the Glodian Makeup Palette from Touch and Soul. You guys know I love these. This is like a highlighter palette. You can use these also as a blush and as a bronzer. I already use this as a bronzer, and it's like I don't know. I don't. I don't like it too much, but I like to use this as eyeshadows. My favorite highlight is the first shade right here. You guys can see this is amazing it's so amazing the mirror is beautiful it's not like dirty say hello to you guys hey guys so yeah okay for face i mean ugh, for face we're completely done but now oh no for face i have two more products and they're illuminators so i talked about this as highlighter but also i have two liquid highlighters the first one is the iconic london illuminator drops in the color original this is amazing i used to use these non-stop i use them I'm going to be using them in an upcoming Christmas tutorial that's going to be happening in the next week or so. This is what the color looks like. It's so beautiful. It's like It makes like the perfect glow. I'm going to bring this on Christmas. Stay tuned for Christmas. I will be doing a Christmas day vlog slash Christmas get ready with me. My other favorite liquid highlighter is the Grande Glow Pumping Liquid Highlighter in the color French Pearl. I love using this. I'm going to swatch it again. I love this product so much. I love using it on my cheekbones, on my, just like under make, under my foundation. It was so amazing. I use this in my dewy makeup look for summer. Next up for eye palettes, I have my number one favorite is, if you guys can buy any Holiday palettes, especially during the holiday season when all the sales is a Natasha Denona palette. These Natasha Denona palettes are so good. This is the uh, Jubilee palette. I don't even know if it's still available, but if it is, go check it out. I love this palette. All the colors are amazing. This is a beautiful dark blue that's like almost black, but it's blue. I, I want to do a look just with the blues. Like, just with these two blues. These would look amazing for an eye look. So, stay tuned for now. I'll probably have that coming. I'll probably do that as, like, a New Year's Eve team look. And the rest of the colors are amazing. So, the colors are Vintage Taupe, uh, Intense, Limoncello, Enigma, and Mint Frost. So, yeah. My other eyeshadow palette that I have to talk about is the Cap Cosmetics Dig and Light palette. Cap Cosmetics makes one of the best eyeshadows. Give me two seconds, guys. Before I got cut off once again because my boyfriend called me. So any Cap Cosmetic palettes are amazing, but this is the Day and Light eyeshadow palette. This is amazing. I've used every single one of my shades. You guys have probably seen I've used this and abused this so much. I have. I can't believe I haven't hit pan on any of the shades. 
So yeah, go and look on capcosmetics.com. This is the website they leave in the back of the palette. So, okay, now I only have two more products for eyeshadows and it's single eyeshadows. My first single eyeshadow that I really love is any of the Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadows. I have this one in the color Ice Latte. This is what it looks like. I can't swatch anything because I have to leave after. So this is what it looks like. It's like so beautiful. I really want to do a Christmas tutorial using this. So I'm gonna have like I'm gonna do like two Christmas tutorials. I'm gonna do like one more festive with like green colors, red colors, and I'm gonna do another one with more like subtle and smoky. Also, so this is a single eyeshadow that's pressed, and I have this single eyeshadow that's cream. This is the color tattoo from Maybelline in the color Bad to the Bronze. You guys have probably seen this and heard this so much. I I end up getting a little swatch. So back to the bronze. This is amazing. I haven't used this in quite a while, so I really want to do like a one eyeshadow. I want to do like a two look eyeshadow look with this. So stay tuned for that as well. I think that's completely random, but get yourself a good brush soap. There is of course the beauty blender solid cleanser, but I have this. This is the lavish cosmetics wet brush cleaning system with silicone scrubbing pad. I've loved this so much. I have so much so much left. And I use this about once a week when I clean my brushes. So I already did a clean my brushes with me video on my YouTube. So stay tuned. You guys watch, go watch that. Now we're up to one last eye product. This is the Maybelline Master Masters Precise Skinny Liner in the color Jet Black. I love this eyeliner so freaking so muchy much. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this eyeliner. So if you guys are looking for a good eyeliner, this one is good. Next up, lip liner. My favorite lip liners are the Saint Lux lip liners. Their website is Saint Lux, SaintLuxBeauty.com. This is the color Secret Admire. On the if the cap is gone, if the color is gone, so I'm gonna have to sharpen that. But this is what the color looks like. It's so beautiful. It makes such a beautiful brown. Um, I have two bomb like two bomb lip gloss things. Two lipsticks and a liquid lipstick left. So my first lip gloss is the Cap Cosmetics lip gloss in the color Charming. My other favorite product is their lip oil. So if you guys can pick up anything from Cap Cosmetics, I recommend their lip glosses, their lip oils, and their eyeshadows. They're amazing. This is what the color. This is the color Charming, which was a collaboration with BoxyCharm. I don't even know if they sell this. I stopped uh, using BoxyCharm a couple months ago because I, I just have too much makeup. Uh, another product, another brand of lipstick that I like is MAC. This is my MAC lipstick in the color Epic. It's a satin. It's this beautiful purple color. I love this so much. Next lipstick is the L'Oreal Color Reach lipstick in the color 983 Vintage Taupe. An utmost taupe. This is a beautiful, like, taupey nude color. Really amazing formula. All the formulas that I'm talking about right now are really good. You guys find these at the drugstores. My second like bomb thing is the Touch and Soul uh, lip lip balm and the color Soulmate. This is what it looks like. I love using it, and it smells like really like awesome. So find these on Sephora or SolDeJanero.com. And to finish last, my last product is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Color in the color 75 Fighter. This is absolutely my favorite liquid lipstick. I am not going to swatch this because I don't want to end up with my hands full of swatches. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please subscribe down below. Hit on your notifications like I told you guys before. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys. Happy weekend. And I forgot one item. My clothing item is these pants right here from Amazon. These are the TikTok trending leggings. I got these on Amazon. And they also have a ton of other stores that sell them. These were $15. So I am going to be doing a little... I'll be doing a little... Uh, if you guys, I'll leave you guys my link to my... I'll leave you guys a link in my bio. Uh, well, not the link in my bio. I'll be leaving you guys my, my, my Instagram username in the description. And I will be doing... Uh, I'll be able to link these leggings on my Instagram in the next coming days. I'll be able to link all the other products I talked about today. So that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.